Hey everybody, Al Puglisi, Al Puglisi Trains. Uh, today is a sad video. I found out over the weekend that uh, my model railroad friend, Al Judy, passed away over the weekend. And uh, it was completely unexpected um, and came as a shock to me. Um, and I want to offer my deepest condolences to his wife and his family. And I just thought I'd share my brief story about meeting Al Judy and how he helped me as a model railroader. I've been told by many, many people that have been emailing me that he was Mr. ON30. He even had a tattoo on his arm he showed me that said ON30. And he was king of ON30. He was instrumental in promoting model railroading and promoting ON30. And I was up at the Strasburg Two Rail O Scale train show back in October. It was the first time I'd ever been there. And I saw him. And I've seen him on tracks, new tracks modeling. Um, I've seen him on YouTube before. And I walked up to him and I said, are you, You're Al Judy. And he said, Yeah, I'm Al Judy. Who are you? And I said, Well, I'm Al Puglisi. He goes, Al Puglisi. Are you the guy with Howard Zane that does the video? And I said, yeah, I, I have a YouTube channel. And we hit it off instantly. Um, he proceeded to show me around the show. He introduced me to a number of different people. And we began talking. And five minutes turned into ten minutes, turned into an hour, turned into an hour and a half. And he was sharing everything he possibly could with me. Uh, trying to promote, telling me what I need to do to try and promote my channel, getting on Facebook. Al was evidently really into Facebook, and I'm unfamiliar with Facebook, and he was telling me all about helping me, said, look, I've got to help you get on Facebook. And he invited me over to his house, and I couldn't wait to see his incredible ON30 layout. And when I got over there, I filmed it, and we had a blast. Uh, the layout was spectacular, and after filming the layout, uh, we filmed a few episodes of A Day in the Shop, and because I was so blown away by how clean and perfect his shop was, and his workmanship, and he just shares everything he possibly can with model railroaders and with us and with me, and that's what it's all about. He was just incredible. And he started telling me stories that he knew Harry Clark. And this sawmill behind me here is a sawmill that Harry Clark had built. And I wouldn't be surprised if Harry got some of the parts for that sawmill from uh, Al, because Al told me that he owned a hobby shop near Harry Clark back in the 70s. And Harry used to go in there all the time and buy stuff from him. And Al took me out to lunch. We had a great lunch. We had a blast filming we talked about hot rod cars. We talked about muscle cars. He was into muscle cars. I'm into muscle cars. And uh, he invited me to the narrow gauge ON30 show in Harrisonburg, which uh, wasn't that long ago. And not only did I go to the show, but Al introduced me to different people at the show. He gave me a, a special little room in case I needed to interview anybody at the show. He was incredibly gracious, and his wife was also incredibly gracious. And again, my deepest condolences go out to him and his family. And uh, my intent was to go back and film his collection of Shea locomotives, his beautiful collection of brass custom Shea locomotives, and that's when I found out he was sick. And at the time, he had told me that he was just fighting some health issues in and out of the hospital and he'd get back with me and let me know when I could when we'd meet up next I had no idea that he was battling what he was battling and then about a month later I touched base with him again just to check up on him and found out that he was very 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 sick and I, I just wanted again again offer my condolences to his wife and his family and to everybody out there that knew Al and if you want to leave some comments and leave some stories about Al, please do, uh, so other people can read them. And I'm so blessed to have met him and to have been able to film his layout 
and his workroom. And if you go to my playlist on my channel and you click, you click on layout visits, scroll down and you can see Al Judy's layout. And then if you click on my playlist and go into a day in the shop, you can watch the two episodes that I did with Al uh, called uh, Al Judy Part 1 and Al Judy Part 2. Again, folks, please, if, you, if you'd like, if you have a special story about Al that you want to post, please do so. Uh, I'm not aware of any um, services or uh, anything that I can announce to you. Um, so I'm, I'm unaware of any upcoming, you know, services or memorials. But I just want to be out there to let everybody know that he did pass away, and he was just an incredible human being. And again, my deepest condolences to his wife and his family. Thanks so much for watching.